We are here at Aquatica for the first time this year. Yay! And we've got the GoPro on my wrist and we're gonna take it in the water with us. So we haven't done this since about a year ago. Um, our first time we ever filmed for our YouTube channel was my birthday, July 2nd of last year. It's been almost a year. And uh, it's been almost a year. Well, we're here to do it again. So we're heading to the wave pool right now. One thing I forgot about this place is the wave pool is a lot smaller because you have two of them. Yeah, I know. So, how's it feel to be in the water? Oh, amazing. From yesterday, yes, amazing. Well, according to the thermometer, it is 91 degrees. 43 Celsius, 91 Fahrenheit. And the clock has the right time. It's 10.39 in the morning on a Friday. Change of plans once again. We're staying at Aquatica all day until 7 p.m. when it closes, and then we're going to head over to SeaWorld for the last three hours and catch everything over there. So that's what we're doing, at least right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there's Ray Rush and Wahala Wave. Wahala Wave was the first ride we ever went on here. Remember that Wahala Wave was the first w ride we ever went on here. Loved it. You went backwards the whole time. And it was before I would go on coasters. Yes. Yes. And I remember filming right over here, and the storm came in. Here we go. All right, here we are at Banana Beach Cookout at Aquatica. It's the one restaurant here that actually has the St. Louis ribs. So looking forward to having those for the first time this year. First time in a long time. It's been since last summer since we were here at Aquatica. And here's what it looks like. Got a Hawaiian and tiki sort of theme to it. Lots of good covered outside seating. It's right next to the Riptide Race. And right now they're only running one half of the restaurant. I guess they're not anticipating uh, huge crowds today. Which is surprising considering how busy the uh, driveway was pulling in. But this is the restaurant that has pizza, ribs, I think they have burgers, uh, probably chicken strips as well. Hey, we just finished our first meal. I had the St. Louis ribs from Banana Beach Cookout. And they were a bit peppery, but very good. Meat yeah. was cooked well, tender, but a little bit peppery on the sauce. Yeah. And now we're in the uh, wave pool again, and they've opened the second wave pool. So the crowd has built up, they've opened both pools, and right now we got waves going on, sort of, little ones. About a minute 40 left on the wave machine right now. And you can see it's a pretty good crowd here. We're here at guest services at SeaWorld and it's 4.30 on a Friday. They've got at least six windows going, which is really good. Mm -hmm. it means they're really putting the people where they need to to serve the guests the best way possible. So we're happy to see that after honestly a disappointing day at Aquatica. So we're over here to have a happy okay. evening. Excited about being at SeaWorld tonight. <laughs> Gotta ride some rides on a great time yep. and we'll see what happens.
We are now heading up the quick queue entrance to Kraken. This is probably the busiest I've seen the quick queue line on Kraken ever. Brakes are hard. <laughs> oh, I shook my head. <laughs> wow. All right, here is electric current. The electric ocean party happening on the waterfront before everything gets going over at Bayside Stadium in a couple hours. for the 6.30 showing of the new Rescue Tales show. This took the place of Pet Sahoy, which closed when COVID started. shut down due to COVID and now it's open with a new show Rescue Tales. It's about to begin so join us. And now SeaWorld is proud to present Rescue Tales. Hello, welcome, welcome. We have a clap already, we haven't done anything. Awesome. Why do you, why do you walk like a chicken just then? <laughs> We came out of here from California to share some animals with you that you guys don't normally get to see here at SeaWorld. You can already tell that we're a different kind of show than you're used to here at the park. Um, for, first of all, we have no water. Nope. Which means that y'all are not going to get wet, which is kind of good. But yeah. more important, we don't smell like fish. Yeah, those trainers are kind of stinky. Actually, full disclosure, the reason they don't give us water, just picture us in wetsuits for a second. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's Gabe, my name's David. We came out here from California from our rescue zoo. We have a rescue zoo out there called Conservation Ambassadors. And the animals that we take in our zoo are animals that cannot be put back into the wild. So that you guys can meet these animals too. Yeah. Hope you enjoy this. Let's start local. I love that response. This is one of the coolest, most unappreciated creatures on the planet. What is she? Banana red. This is the opossum. Let's give the opossum a little respect. That's it. The only marsupial in North America, now most of the cousins, most of the other pouched animals, the kangaroos, koalas, all those wombats and everything, they're from Australia. That's what Australia is famous for. But I think Australia should be famous for this bird right here. No, you're not with me on that one. <laughs> Boring little brown bird. Dude has the most famous call of any bird in the world. You've heard it. You've heard it a thousand times. You just heard it in the wrong context. His name is Kookaburra. Yeah. Yeah. His call is exactly that. He says, That's it. That's all you got. I think that was a ball joke. 
That was nice, Dave. This is Wizard. I do think he's magnificent. What is he? This is the turkey vulture. This guy here is my favorite bird. He has a great life. He gets up in the morning. First thing he does, sunbathe. Every morning he has to warm himself up. Once he's nice and warm, he takes off his perch. He flaps those big wings just once or twice and the wings lock in one position. He becomes like a glider and he starts to soar. Big, lazy circles. He looks lazy. He's working. He's up top going. He's smelling. He has a hole that goes all the way through the top of his beak. He's up there taking as much wind as possible. And when he smells something really stinky, something really rotten, something that smells totally disgusting and gross and has been dead for a while, you know what he says? Lunch. Lunch time! Just came out of the Seaport Theater at SeaWorld, and what do we see? It has rained, and it's given us a rainbow. Rainbow! It's a double. Yes, a double rainbow. All right, we are approaching Infinity Falls to ride it for the first time today. And the line is long. Well, I lied. We're not getting on Infinity Falls right now because they're having technical difficulties. Not sure what the difficulty is, but maintenance is working on it. And, well, we hope to be on it soon. So we're going to head somewhere and you'll find out where when we get there. Here we are, coming back into the waterfront at SeaWorld Orlando during Club Current. And if you're a DJ and you play dance music, this is probably in your playlist. Here we are at Pacific Point Preserve. With everybody's favorite hunkers, the sea lions. about my days working here with the sea lions and unfortunately though Mako and Infinity Falls are not currently operating so we're gonna go in and get some footage of the shark encounter to see the latest updates to it it's fishies Yeah. That is a moray eel. 
he looks And that does not mean Amori he loves us. That means Mori he will not like us. He's the size of an alligator. <laughs> A small one, but yes. I don't care. He just is huge. And his tail goes underneath that rock and way over there. Yeah. And here's the shark tank. already said the redesign of shark encounter is a definite home run it looks fantastic in here Infinity Falls, it just opened back up. Right now it is almost nine o'clock on Friday night. Park closes at 10. And so we're actually gonna get on Infinity Falls. Wasn't sure it was gonna happen, but here we go. The question is, will Sharon go down backward on the big drop? Yes, very true. Probably. It's warm. I'm not letting go of this. <laughs> you 
You might lose an arm, but you're not letting go of it. And here come, oh, the up and downs.
the day started kind of weird. We really didn't have a good time at Aquatica, which isn't normal, but it yeah. can happen. But we changed gears, came over to SeaWorld, got to ride Kraken, got to see the shark encounter, mm -hmm. got to pick up a Infinity lanyard Falls. couch, got to ride Infinity Falls twice at night, uh -huh. and capped off the night with an amazing dance party at Club Sleep Sea Glow and, and Ignite Fireworks lighting up the sky here at SeaWorld Orlando, guys. If you can get here between now and September 8th, I believe it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, get out here and experience Club Sea Glow and Ignite. It's all part of Electric Ocean, and we had a blast. Yes, we did. And with that, we have an hour and a half drive home. Yes. So we're gonna sign off, and we'll make it home eventually. And you'll see this video eventually. <laughs> Hopefully in the next few days. Alrighty. A good night from two nights. We're out of here. Bye.